welcome to yet another day on star with ufuma omoruru so it's been a while i've not posted so i thought i do this um tutorial because i know that every lady every girl every woman wants the perfect skirt and it's a staple piece it's something you need to have in your wardrobe it's easy to make and very versatile and today i'm going to be using our stretch fabric i'm going to be using um, satin stretch fabric so it's a two-way stretch if I pull this way it doesn't stretch but if I pull that way you notice the stretch so I'm just going to fold on the table to start cutting so we're going to cut the front and the back separately but you can cut both together but for the sake of those who are new to sewing and new on my channel I'm going to be making doing this in an easy way from scratch and easy so if you've not subscribed, don't forget you need to subscribe so you keep seeing my videos as they drop. So for you to be able to cut this particular skirt, um, if you're using like the satin fabric I'm using, you need about 2 meters or 1.5 depending on your size. So I'm making this to fit a size 14. So I'm going to be using a waist 35 or 36. I'm going to be using it 44 and the length I'm going to be using 28 so you need to notice you need to do and um, note some facts about cutting a flounced skirt because what I'm cutting today is a flounced skirt when I say flounced what I mean is it's bushed it's gathered it could be by the side it could be at the bottom it could be on top but my flounced skirt today is going to be fitted on top at the top bit then at the bottom part just like in the picture is going to be brushed it's going to be gathered so flounce skirts are great because anybody can wear them any size any shape is very flattering so you notice i folded this like this so always fold along this stretch if you fold the other way it's going to be difficult for you to get the full effect so normally when you want to cut a skirt you need to divide your waist by four you need to divide your hip by four then your knee as the point where you add the ruching or the bottom of your skirt also needs to be divided by four you don't need to measure that bit all you need to do for the bottom of your skirt where you add the ruching or the flounce all you need to do is to take away about eight or ten inches from your hip measurements then you can get the width of the base of your skirt so this skirt is going to have a band it's going to be high waisted normally for a size 14 to get the hip i would have measured from the top of the skirt to the hip i would have done like an eight but because it's high waisted i'm going to do nine and a half or ten okay so now let's see if the fold is going to be okay to accommodate the hip. That way we know we have enough on the fold. So when I measure from this bit, that's the folded, you start measuring from the folded part outward, what I get is 10. 10 times 4 gives you 40. So that's not enough for my skirt. So I'm going to fold some more. Right? So I'm folding some more and I'm going to measure again. So when I check what I have here, I have about 12. 12 times 4 is 48. So that's more than enough, even too much. Okay, so I'm just going to reduce that a bit. So that shows that the fold we've got here can do for the skirt. The hip is the largest part of the body when making a floor skirt. So I'm going to measure now the length of my skirt. It's a floor skirt. So it's not all going to be straight. I'm going to measure from the top to about 20 inches or 18 inches because I'm going to add a band. 18 inches, then plus half for the sewing allowance. Okay, I could do 19 because I'm going to lose one on, half on top. I'm going to lose half at the base. So I'm going to do 19. The total length of the skirt is 28. If I subtract um, 18 from 28, I need 10 inches for the flounce but for the 18 if you cut exactly 18 by the time you have done sewing it's going to be 17 so hence i'm adding one extra inch for the length of the skirt 
So we're going to do 19 inches all around, 19 like so. Okay, so I'm going to get a ruler and you just roll to create the straight line. You don't want your lines to be all over the place, right? So that is it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take off this bit. So this bit is enough for the front of the skirt. So I'm going to still fold again, right? Like so, to get the back for my skirt. The back piece, the back um, block for the floor skirt. So you don't need to measure again. All you need to do is just place this um, front block over the back fold. Make sure it's folded side to folded side like i'm doing you need to measure from the right side always measure from the fold and not the other way around yeah so now i'm going to get my scissors and i'm just going to cut so i have exactly the same size of fabric for the back Okay. So I'm going to cut that away and take off the rest of the fabric. So what I have here is going to cut both the front and the back piece of the top of the floor skirt or the ruched skirt. So I'm just straightening the up bit a little. It's always it's important to have um, a straight line when sewing to make it very professional great so now we have both so that's the folded edge now i'm going to take the waist measurement and you need to remember if you're using a stretch fabric you need to reduce the size so for the waist i need to get um 36 inches but because this fabric stretches instead of 36 i'm going to make it 34 okay so 34 is at that point right so if you want to put your zip if one had a zip you need to make one of them longer but because i may not add a zip or if i need to i can put by the side i'm making both the same size i just want it to be easy for beginners right so 34 i reduced that by 2 34 inches then from here for the hip i'm going to do nine and a half no sorry because we're going to have a band remember we're going to add a band so the band is going to be about two inches so i'm going to lift this up about two inches and i'm going to measure 10 inches at this bit, at this point so you see i took off two inches on the top because we're going to add a band which is two inches um in size length so hence i'm doing it that way so 10 at this point or nine and a half okay so i'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to rule where you have the hip so it's clear. So that's the hip measurement. So now I'm going to take the measurement for the hip. So instead of the hip is 44, I'm going to make it 42 because it's a fitted skirt and it's stretchy fabric. Then for the bottom, I'm going to subtract 8 from 42. If I subtract 8 from 42, I'm going to have 34. So we can do 34 for the base as well. So 34 at the bottom. It's very easy to make this fresh skirt. And I love working with stretch fabric. It just makes life easier. Okay, so yeah. And from that bit, I'm going to do that. Sorry, so you connect the dots. So Flatten the hip. You don't want any points where you have your hip, like so. So that's our skirt, right? So now all we need to do is to add some sewing allowance. I'm going to add just one inch. So just one inch all along. One inch is fine. One inch. One inch. Right. So now I'm going to cut with the one inch skirt allowance 
you also need to check how much your fabric stretches this stretch is not too much hence i'm not making it too small if it was like lycra that stretches a whole lot then you will need to reduce the hip measurements further right so that's the skirt now the last thing you need to do for your skirt is to bring back down the front um in the middle this way one of them not both just one i'm going to reduce that with about one and a half inches just the center of it so you just draw a curve towards the side so you don't touch the side just the middle so i'm going to cut make sure you're not cutting both fabric both pieces both the back and the front when the front is low this way what it does is that it gives a nicer fit because your butt lifts is higher but the front there is no butt so yeah it needs to be lower like so right so this is done i'm going to put this aside then we're going to cut the flaws now you get the rest of your fabric you cut because i have two meters here i'm going to cut two meters all along the stretch of my fabric okay so two meters i'll just cut 10 inches i want it to be full so the old two inches remember we need um 10 inches to complete the length so i'm just going to fold the fabric like that so the old two meters you don't need to crack your head and you don't need to wonder how much do i need to make the flounce or the ruching for the skirt so the whole length of the two inches is what I'm going to use. Now I'm going to measure to see if this is up to 10. So it's 10, more than 10, it's about 12 here. So that's fine because I'm going to fold the bottom and I'm going to lose some when I add this to the top part of the floor skirt. So now I'm getting my scissors and I'm just going to cut. So you see, it's very straightforward and easy great so i'm going to rush this the all two meters long fabric and i'm going to add it to the base of my skirt if you want it fuller add more you can cut more but i think this is just perfect so now the last thing i'm going to do is to cut my band so make sure your band is also going to stretch cut along the stretch make sure it stretches because if it doesn't stretch then you would have defeated the purpose of using a stretch fabric so that's the final bit of the skirt cutting once we are done with this we're going to go to sewing so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to measure four and a half for my fabric four and a half when we fold we're going to lose that half that half that's I added so I'm just going to cut so when we fold this it's going to become two and a quarter right so I'm just trying to even out the edges that's great so I'm going to put that aside we are almost done cutting so this is the top part of the skirt so like I said I'm going to have my zip by the side not at the back Sometimes it scares me to have a busted zip. Hence, I like to have it by the side, All right? So now I want to check what I have here is about 48. So it's a little bit more than what we actually need. So one thing you should also note when you're cutting your skirt is that the size cannot be just straight like so. I'm going to fold this. I'm going to take 34 for the waist. And I'll make sure that this bit, when you fold into two, the upper bit is a bit narrowed. It's very important to do that. It gives a better shape. So we need 34. 34 should be um, eight and a half for the skirt. Okay, then we're gonna add one extra inch for the allowance. So I'm gonna cut that off. So like I said, for the top bit, we're going to just take off about um, one inch at the top. 
see what I did. So I just slanted that upwards. So what that does is it holds, it grips your waist because somewhere up there in the, in the middle of your waist is narrower than the rest of it. So this is what you get, okay? That curve. So we're going to join this together at the side. So you just turn right side to right side. You stitch like so, half an inch. Then you're going to add it to the skirt. So the other bits on the left side, you add your zip. So I'm going to go so and come show you what I was able to achieve. So at the end of the video, when you see what I've made, if you think you can make yours, go ahead, give it a try. And you can send me a picture on Instagram on voila, at voila, that's my handle, underscore wears, underscore and, underscore design. If there's any other bit of this uh, video that you need clarification with, do not hesitate to send me a message. So give a thumbs up, subscribe, and to like come your way next week is bye for me.